Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Alright, I'm way out here in the south end today, out here on 3rd Street Road at O'Dolly's Lounge and Restaurant. Okay, I was actually going to come here and do a lunch review, but I saw from one of my good sources, uh, Don Kimberly, uh, she was here a couple weeks ago, got breakfast, sent me some pictures, so I changed my tactic, instead of lunch, I'm coming for breakfast. But anyway, uh, periodically I have to clarify a couple things. Uh, Recently, I got somebody attempted to call me out saying that uh, basically I had no credibility because all the restaurants that I go to are good. Well, I have to explain again. I go to restaurants that are good, yes, but sometimes if they're not good, I have to scrap the video. I have to keep my standards, my credibility. When I do my research, I don't go to many that I have to scrap the videos, but yeah, I have standards. And if it's not recommendable, I scrap the video and move on. I'm not, more, I'm not really a restaurant critic. I'm more of a restaurant promoter. I'm not gonna stand up here, dog somebody out, run them down the road. I just scrap the video, move on, go to the next place. All right, so with that said, uh, O'Dolly's, don't let the, the name Lounge uh, throw you off because they're really known for their food. Real good food. And also another disclaimer after reading the menu and everything, I want to tell you right now, if you're out looking for breakfast and you want to order some eggs benedict and a fruit plate, just go ahead, move on, and go on down to New Lou or the Highlands somewhere and go to one of them yuppie joints. Because this is a working man's place here, blue collar. Let's go on in right. and check it out. Not many people here right now, so I'm going to take this time to show you around without having to show them people in the background i hate to get people in by accident people some people don't like to be filmed but anyway you see you got a big dining room over here plenty of tables a lot of tvs really cool bar wraps around to the other side of the room a lot of tables and then it goes further back into another room with more tables so this place has plenty of room i can see coming here with a group of people and coming here for ball games and it's actually kid friendly too and a big menu this isn't just your typical sports bar they got a lot of good food to choose from here when i said kid friendly uh i didn't even know they had this game room back here uh kind of more adult games but kids like to play pool and it's kind of private back here. If you had like a big party, I'm sure you could probably reserve this room and uh, have you a little birthday party back here, something like that. Yeah, this place is a really cool hangout. I definitely look forward to coming back here sometime. So we're starting off with some French toast. And Mary's already taking a bite. What'd you think of that? It was really good. Hello. All right. What you drinking? And I'm going to start with the Western omelet and potatoes, and I have a surprise item coming up shortly. All right, I'll give this Western omelet a try here. Got the ham and the bell peppers, and, uh, onion, mushroom, and cheese. Looks good and cheesy. Look at that. Mm. Very tasty. I think it might be. No, I thought I had some jalapeno like bell pepper. And the home fries. These look good. Both got a little crunch to it, but not overdone. Be right back with the main event. All right. Almost forgot the biscuit. It looks homemade. Alright, be right back. This is the reason I drove all the way out to 3rd Street Road, right here. The breakfast pizza. It's got eggs, potatoes, country ham, and cheese on it, okay? This is the only uh, kind of conglomeration I've seen around these parts. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try this out. 
Looks like it's got a good homemade pizza crust there. And I'm not even putting ketchup on it yet. So we can show you all the true way it comes. Oh yeah. You know what? I think that's got sausage on there too. Very tasty, great combination. And as I said, that's a good pizza crust. It's got a good undercarriage there, you can see. And it's really kind of thin, even though the outer edge uh, has a you know a nice fluffy crust on it. It's really pretty thin and light. All right. Definitely worth the drive out to the south end for this. All right, we'll be right back in just a minute. Mary, paint on down to the pizza here. I'm gonna get one of these inside pieces. And also, I forgot to mention the main ingredient. What did I forgot to say? Uh, the sauce on this pizza is the milk sausage gravy. Now, how fat is that? Speaking of fat, I hope they got plenty of help in the kitchen next week because when this video comes out, I think a bunch of my fat friends are coming out here. They're definitely going to have an influx of fat people coming out here after this video comes out. All right, let me try this inside piece. Got the sausage, the country ham, the gravy, eggs, and cheese, and potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. 14 inch breakfast pizza. It's like $12.89. This is definitely worth the drive out to 3rd Street Road, for sure. All right, be back with some parting words here in a little bit. So, just to show you, I did not eat it all, but that wasn't because it wasn't good, because it was delicious. It was just a lot of food. I had that Western omelet and ate almost that whole 14-inch pizza. It was great. Also great is the service here. Everybody's friendly. Make sure when you come, you ask for Haley to be your server. She's a sweetheart. And uh, everybody here is friendly. Customers, everybody. It's a great vibe. Uh, I see people out riding their motorcycles, pan around there, uh, out riding afternoon motorcycle uh, trips, made their way out here for lunch. And also for you adults that like adult drinks, uh, on Saturdays they have $3 mimosas and $3 Bloody Marys. But as I said, kid-friendly place. Uh, O'Dolly's has been here for a long time. I'd say by the looks of that sign, probably been here at least 50 years. But the present owners didn't buy this place till like the weeks before COVID hit. And they were forced to just serve carry out only, but they stuck it out. They were in the trenches and uh, they've made it through. And it looks like they've got a very successful business now. So let's get out here, support local. And uh, with that said, y'all don't know nothing about this old Dolly's restaurant and lounge. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.